Alright guys, um, so today, uh, is finally the day for my thousand day box showcase. I feel like I said day a lot in that first five seconds, but, um, so, when I first originally got, uh, our boy, 1000 day Goku, um, there was a lot going on. It was, like, right in the middle of the 300 million download celebration, so I didn't do this immediately. Um, but now, things have calmed down a little bit, we're kind of in a little bit of a lull for both Global and JP, actually, um, so, I figured now is a pretty good time for me to do the 1000 day box showcase. Um, now, my box has probably gotten significantly better uh, since the last box showcase, because I think that one was like 9 months ago. Um, and, you know, I've, I've changed a bit since then. Um, so, I know that this box, or well, just any box in general, can be pretty like overwhelming if you have it sorted like this, like just going through everything in your box. It can be pretty overwhelming. Um, so we're gonna do it how a lot of people actually do it, which is just we're gonna go by types So we're gonna start with super AGL um, So super AGL actually has a lot of LRs like I'm just not saying this super AGL has seven LRs um, On JP there is also LR kill and Khalifa But as far as global goes, I think I have them all um, And then let's just you know start working our way down. Obviously his grind sucked um these guys, a funny story about them. Do I still have the extra copies? I do. So, it's funny, because, um, last World Tournament, the, the, da, da, the banner, uh, the GSSR banner, that normally has, like, well, there are two versions. There's one that's, like, the general SSR pool, and there's one that's World Tournament units, but the general SSR pool one sucked. So, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for World Tournament cards. I pulled two of him, and I already had him rainbowed, and I was like, well, what am I gonna do now? So, I just kept him. I don't know why. Um, obviously, Super Battle Road Reward, super, actually a super good unit. Uh, I did a showcase on him a while back. Feel free to check that out if you don't want to. Don't, you know. Um, uh, obviously, he was my most anticipated unit of all time. LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is my favorite, like, character in Dragon Ball. Um, and then, is there really anything else to talk about? I feel like I have to talk about Gogeta Blue. Just because on his original banner, I went like 3,000 stones didn't get him and remember that is 3,000 stones with buy three get one free so that's basically 4,000 stones and then I went like probably 700 on the on this Gohan banner because I got really lucky with Gohan I got two Gohans and like 700 stones and then I dipped um so this guy I didn't get him either of those times I just got him with red coins I've never actually pulled blue Gogeta um and then just scrolling down looking at anything else this guy um, I don't remember how you obtained him, but I remember he was my first ever rainbow unit. Um, I rainbowed him just because I liked his art. Like, his art is still really clean. His art might even be on the thumbnail for this, I don't know. Um, if I remember, it probably will be, actually. Uh, and then just keep on scrolling down. Obviously, this guy gets an easy A soon. I do just have him not awakened. Um, I actually, wait, he isn't even reversed, I just don't have him awakened, okay. Um... But I also just haven't awakened him yet, just because I am waiting to see if I can pull more dupes. Obviously, right now I only have one dupe, um, and he's only SA5. I'm working my way up on him. Like, every Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta I pull, it's probably going into him for SA. Um, because after he easy A's, he's extremely good. Um, this guy, I'm probably going to rainbow. I'm going to be honest, like, Hercule, look at he's so gross. Causes low damage to enemy, and recovers 7,000 HP great chance to reduce his own tech by 80%. It's crazy. Um, links that no one else in the game has. Um, this is the TN I was talking about. I've pulled so many of this blue Goku, because if you can see up here, I do have him rainbowed, and then I also just have him down here. And I've also used a few of him for SA for other blue Goku, so he just refuses to leave me alone. Um, I'm sorry if you'd hear that thunder. That's actually extremely loud and scary. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, I don't know why this Piccolo is down here. And then these Gokus, it's like, at some point, actually, I already have him awakened. I don't know why he's here. But at some point, I would like to, I have him awakened too. So I don't know why either of them are down there. Because I like to just awaken one copy of each unit. So like this guy at some point, I would like to awaken. Not because I'm going to use him, but just like to have, you know? Um, but anyways, that is it for Super AGL. And I went way too long on Super AGL. I'll try to go a little bit faster now. Um, Extreme AGL is much more of a chill typing, if we're just looking at it. Don't worry about all the Zamasus. <laughs> um... But Extreme AGL, um, obviously LR Androids, their grind sucked. It was about like a prime battle, like pretty easy, but just took forever. Especially back when I did it, um, I did it before even the LR Androids campaign. 
So, like, the events took longer than they do now, and boost wasn't a thing. LR Majin Vegeta, I just got lucky and pulled him on a weekend ticket banner. Um, this guy actually took me forever to pull, but since then, like, I didn't pull him on his original banner because Physical Broly treated me really well. We'll get to that later. Um, this guy, like, every 120 lead I have with three dupes. Like, there are, like, three 120 leads that I have with, you know, three dupes. It's upsetting. Uh, anything else to talk about here? Not really. I really love this 8-bit Vegeta. Um, I guess I should maybe explain why I have all these Zamasus. Um, because you cannot really farm Zamasu, and the AGL Zamasu, well, the SSR AGL Zamasu that comes out soon. Um, I'm just gonna awaken these guys to SSR, and then feed them into the Dokkan Fest Zamasu for super attack. That's basically my plan. And I do actually have full copies, uh, for this guy down here, because originally I was gonna rainbow all of them. But that's such a grind, because you need, they, as you can see, they start as SRs, so you have to awaken them, well, you have to train them, you have to awaken them, and then you have to train them, and then you have to awaken them again, and there, that just takes so many medals and so many supplies, and he's actually probably the worst one, so I didn't do that. Um, that's about it all for super, I mean extreme, uh, AGL, and let's just go to super tech, super tech, there's really not much to talk about here, it's like, I don't... I'm just going to be talking about, like, a lot of shaftings and stuff that I've got. Um, there's not really many shaftings for tech. It's, like, there's a lot of units here who I have rainbowed that I would probably not want rainbowed anymore. Like, this Bardock, he's a really good orb, ch orb changer, and that's about it. That's about all he does. I wish I didn't rainbow him. This Trunks, straight up, isn't good. I wish I didn't rainbow him. Um, this guy, I just rainbowed the other day. <laughs> um, I kind of wish I didn't rainbow him, but the reason I did rainbow him is because I already had him at 90%, and then I pulled the last copy I needed off of a World Tournament banner, but, like, his attack is pretty low, um, his kit is okay, I guess if you use him alongside the, this 18, uh, it's pretty good, and then this guy, I wish I could rainbow him, but I can't, and then just looking at everything else, I got really lucky on the GoBros banner, I think it went like 700 stones, got a copy of them, dipped, um, and I guess I do have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta rainbowed, but I feel like everyone does, just because... He was featured on so many banners in a row on Global, it would be, like, hard to not have him. <laughs> Alright, um, there was a cut there because I got a phone call, and if you don't know how this works, whenever I get a phone call, the video recording just gets cancelled immediately, um, which kind of sucks. I'm getting an Elgato soon, I don't know if that happens with Elgato, I'm gonna be honest, um, but anyways, just back to this box, um, one thing, I w got a voicemail from that person who called me, um, there is one unit in this box who I would like to rainbow more than any other one, and you, you're not going to guess who it is. Um, it is actually this Goku. This Goku is incredibly bad. Don't I'm not saying he's good, and that's why I want to rainbow him. I'm saying I want to rainbow him because he's my first TR I ever had. Um, so, and this is still my original copy, too. If we sort by, like, you know, oldest date or whatever, uh, he would be, like, pretty close to the very back. He's not the first SSR I ever pulled, but he's the first SSR that I ever got to Doke on Awaken. Right now I have him reversed because I do need one more copy uh, to get full copies. Um, but as soon as that happens, you better believe that I'm rainbowing him immediately. Um, and that is about it for this tech. Also, I did forget to mention, I do have some of these Gohans down here. He does get an Awakening, uh, so that's pretty cool. And that is about it. I think I was talking about something with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and I really did just kind of forget. Alright, so now Extreme Tech is a really, really small type, now that I'm looking at it. Um, so obviously, Black and Zamasu. Black and Zamasu is actually a funny story, because I remember I pulled them on the Kefla banner, like, two years ago. Um, and I did one multi on the Kefla banner, because this was back when I had, like, 600 stones and I was just saving up for something. But I did one multi on the Kefla banner, and I got Kefla, and I was like, yo, bet, this is so cool. And then I texted my cousin, and I was like, hey... Do you think that I should do one more multi? And he was like, yeah. And then in that multi, I got Elder Black and Zamasu. And I was in my study hall. And you better believe I shrieked in the middle of study hall when it was dead silent. It was <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> um, and then I am one dupe away from rainbowing him. As well as one dupe away from rainbowing him. So, you know, just one dupe away from those guys. Uh, obviously, I got really lucky with Hit. Uh, did one, I did the 30 stone multi, got him, uh, and then just looking through everybody else, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this Tau, I did just do his showcase for it recently. He's actually pretty good for a free-to-play unit. Um, and that's about it. This is another guy that I have three dupes for. 
Uh, obviously, I don't have any paths open, but the three dupes are down here. Um, and then that's about it. Janimbu. I don't even know what he does. I'm going to be honest. Um, so we're just going to move on to Super Int, which is one of, like, my great white buffalo is Super Int. Um, the one unit that I've pulled for the most and have yet to get um, is LR Super Vegito. Um, I summoned on his original three-year banner with a few thousand stones. Didn't pull him. I pulled on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner with about a thousand stones. Didn't pull him. Um, and I ended up with two copies of Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I just didn't pull him. So I still get to pull him. Um, I am probably going to save up 500 Rotor Coins and just get him next time he's in the shop. Um, and other than that, uh, Gopunks, uh, there's a video on my channel right now, and it's called, like, Summoning Till I Get an LR, and it's, like, four minutes long, and I was, it was on the top, uh, LR Summon banner, um, for the fourth year anniversary, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna pull in until I get one LR, and it, it just happened to be the one that I wanted the most, uh, the GT Trio, so, that was pretty lucky. Obviously, Super Battle Road Reward, Goku Rainbowed, UI Goku's Rainbowed, and Gogeta, I have a lot of the Dokkan Fest exclusives that are Super Int Rainbowed, I just realized. Um, huh. I don't have this Gohan or Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And looking through, is that it? I mean, <laughs> there is a video coming out on this guy Rainbowed pretty soon, I think. Either that or it's already out. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how this is all scheduled. I do already have this video recorded. I do know that. Um, and then just scrolling down, uh, my gets an awakening with uh, tech trunks whenever tech trunks comes out um so <laughs> another unit i have three dupes for i have three dupes for so many units um i do also have a few extra copies of ui goku that i'm just saving up for because i do think at some point an lr ui goku could happen like mastered ui but his ssr could be ui sign so then i could use these guys as like elder guys i don't know um and then just looking through obviously the god himself Chiaotzu, super good. SA8. That's triggering some people. Uh, and then, I mean, that's about it. This this type is very uninteresting. Um, much more than I thought it would be, if I'm being honest. Alright, so Extreme Int. LR Cell is one of my favorite cards in the game right now, so that's why he's here. I did have a little bit of trouble pulling him. I think it was like 2200 stones for me to pull one copy of him, uh, but it was worth it. I'm, I'm really having fun with this unit. And now I am just, like, saving my stones up for, like, whatever the next big banner is. I do have, like, 250 right now. Um, obviously, Engine Nemba, the best EZA unit in the game, best TUR in the game. I know a lot of people lately, well, not a lot of people, but just Truth lately has been like, I actually think it could be TUR killing Khalifla. I mean, that really is, like, they're so close. It really is just up to opinion. Like, I personally like Janemba better. Um, and I know a lot of people might be like, he, what do you mean they're not even our own global yet? But, like... I've tried them with change ejection. Um, you can just throw Janemba anywhere, and he works perfectly fine. Whereas with Kale and Khalifla, you do really need to be going up against either a Pure Saiyans or a Universal Survival Saga. And if you're not, they can be pretty unimpressive. Um, Kid Buu's rainbowed. Angel and Freeze is rainbowed. Not really much to talk about here. And Goku Black has one dupe. I got really lucky on his original banner. And then that's about it for that. Uh, and then Super STR. Um... I was Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I got pretty lucky on his banner as well, actually. Um, and then B-Pan. Really fun. Thousand Day Goku. One of the... Pretty much the reason for this video is Thousand Day Goku. Um, then just looking through, there's not much else here. Um, I am probably going to rainbow him at some point soon. I know it says there are two paths that aren't unlocked, but I do have them right there. Um, and this guy lately has just been my spirit animal. Over the past, like three or four world tournament banners um i've only pulled him because as you can see right here full copies and then there's also just these two just chilling here like i pulled both of them recently um and then Ader, who did just come out recently um i did do a video on tau i didn't do a video on Ader just because Ader. uh first off i don't have the dragon ball saga leader so it'd be very hard to show him off and then androids he doesn't work the best because you do need a goku family category ally so i really couldn't showcase him and his sa isn't formable so I did lock him up. I'm going to leave him here. Um, at some point, I'll do something with him. But for right now, he's just going to stay there. Uh, this Hercule is probably my favorite card in the game. Uh, just, <laughs> I'm so glad Global lost that tile-breaking event. I'm going to be honest. Um, so we're just going to leave it that there. I know we started off taking a lot of time, but I'm trying to go a little bit faster now. Um, LR Broly. I don't think I've said this on a video yet, but 
I did pull a dupe for LR Broly uh, from the STR type banner. Um, I got a Vegito blue animation, and I was like, yes, 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 because like on that banner, at least for global, there are three LRs that you can pull, and I didn't have two of them. And the one that I had was Broly, and he was the one that I pulled. And the reason I'm pretty upset about that is because I never ever use him, except for in World Tournament. World Tournament is the only time I use LR Broly. Um, and looking through what else, uh, obviously we got STR Janemba, who's rainbowed, and then we've got Transforming Boo, who I actually did pull first time ever on the Cell Banner, and now I have two dupes for him as well, so that's pretty good. Uh, Rose is another unit I got extremely shafted on. On his original banner, I went like 2,500 stones, didn't pull him. Um, like every banner he's been on, I've pulled on, didn't get him. I did manage to pull one copy on the Cell Banner, so it is only one copy. Um, STR Cell isn't even max SA. I'm trying to work on farming it. Well, not farming, but just getting his SA up. I do have two dupes, though, so that is something. Um, looking through everybody else, obviously I have him rainbowed. He's an extremely good unit. That's World Tournament Ward. This guy is my spirit animal. I pull him every other multi. Um, oh, this. So AGL Metal Cooler is another uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive that's coming out soon. Um, well, not coming out soon, but like I might pull soon is what I meant. Um, so I do just have these here, uh, in case if I ever pull him. And then there's not much else to talk about. Um, I guess this SSR Hoy might, a lot of people might be like, why is he here? Um, he does have a chance to stun as well as he's a decent support type unit, so he's pretty good. Um, and then moving on, super physical. Uh, one of my favorite types. Um, just, <laughs> I didn't even realize how stacked it was actually. Um, so obviously, like, We've got two summonable LRs up there at the top, and I don't even have LR Bardock. Um, and then this guy, it's really good. This is probably the best all-around unit in the game. I did a rainbow showcase on him recently. Extremely good. Uh, one to break from rainbowing him, just like every 120 lead. Um, Physical Super Vegito, I have pulled two times total. Yeah, two times total. Um, Future Go On, I've only pulled once. This guy, I've had a rainbow for so long. I feel like I might have copies of him at the bottom down here. If I don't, then I don't I don't know what I did with them, but I used to for sure. Um, I probably use them for Elder Kai's on Tech Vegeta Blue, now that I think about it. Because um, I didn't pull Tech Vegeta Blue till like, super recently. Um, Kefla, super good. This guy I just rainbowed because he has super good link set, and I could see him getting an ECA at some point in the future. Um, looking through anything else. This guy I can't rainbow, but I would. Uh, if I could, I've only ever pulled him like four times, and the first time I bobbed him, so you know, you know what that is. Um, so not much else to talk about super physical. Let's go extreme physical. Um, extreme physical is another one of my favorite types. It's probably my favorite type to use, um, just because physical cooler is a really fun unit to use. Uh, I have him rainbowed. I pulled LR Cell. I don't. Oh yeah, I pulled LR Cell from the the guaranteed LR step up uh, for New Year's. Um, so that was really lucky. I remember I pulled three LRs, uh, and one of them, obviously, because you'd only do it twice, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I got, and he wasn't even, like, a guaranteed LR. Um, Cell was one of the guaranteed, though. Um, looking through, Cooler, uh, I actually didn't even pull on his original banner, but his banner on JP was the, is the banner that I'm most nostalgic for. Um, just for personal reasons, um... But I didn't even play JP. Like, I was just watching Nano and Rhymes videos and stuff. Um, this guy, I got first character, first multi, okay? So that was just insane. Go watch that video. This was, like, the craziest summon I've ever had. I pulled this guy, the first character of the first multi. Um, this guy's probably gonna get an easy A soon. I did pull, I've pulled him, like, 19 times. And I bobbed him each and every time. Don't do what I do. Do as I say. Don't bobba units, okay? Um, Broly's SA1 and no dupes. So, you know, that's him. Uh, this guy, he used to be good. He's not as good anymore. Um, Lord Slug, uh, one of the overrated units, I think. Like, I know not a lot of people talk about him, but when they do, they're like, Oh yeah, Lord Slug's pretty good. He's, he's not great. Um, this Majin Vegeta, I did originally just get him. Uh, to do an easy I don't remember which one it was. Oh, yeah, it was the Goku Jr. Easy A, and then I never used him. <laughs> so there's one thing. I am one copy away from rainbowing Champa, and also GT Cell, I mean, not Cell, GT Frieza. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Um, a World Tournament Bojack, there's not much else to talk about here. 
Um, so then before we leave, I do also just want to show off the tags that I have. Um, then after that, we're probably going to call it a day. Um, so characters without tags, this is just, you know, characters that aren't, uh, tagged in any of the little things. So, you know, ripped all these guys. Um, but leading off rainbow, I have 94 rainbow units. Um, I thought about holding this video off until I had an even 100, but it's like, I don't know how long that could take. That could take another week, or that could take, like, another two months. It really does just depend. Um, so just, you know, looking through all these, a lot of these are free-to-play units. I'd say most of these are free-to-play units, actually. Um, especially the level, like, 100s. Oh, pretty much the only summonable one out of the level 100s is this Goten. Um, and then just looking through, it's like, a lot of these units are solid. Like, everyone on screen right now is really good. Um, but anyways, going through LRs, I have 34 LRs. Uh, one more, we got RTN, who has extreme damage, which is the only reason I have him. He has two links. <laughs> Extremely good. <laughs> okay. Um, this was just something that I made for a video recently, whatever. Uh, this is transformation units. Um, the funny thing is, I don't even think I still have enough to make, like, a full team for each. Like, I know I have enough for super, but for extreme, you need six. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I have five. I need to get one more transformation unit for extreme to make a full team. Oh, uh, this is just category leads. So these are all my category leads. And then the last one is 120 leads. And do I need one more Vegeta Blue to rainbow him too? No, I need two more. Okay. Um, so this is just all that junk. And then these are just Kai's and stuff. Um, but anyways, guys, that was my box showcase. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please consider leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. My name has been Black Hora. And here is to another thousand days.